2015. Can you tell me about that Toronto Blue Jays squad? What was it like to play with them? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny you bring that up because I, um, I get picked up in the parking lot and was coming down and Tingler was coming down and Matt Chumley in the clubhouse was telling me that he was coaching that team. So we had a real discussion about that Toronto Blue Jay um, Rangers series. But just remember being on a team with a lot of guys that, man, a lot of veteran professional hitters, guys that can really play the game. And they played at a very high level, level with uh, Donaldson and Batista, Encarnacion, Mark Burley, uh, Troy Tulawiski. You know, we had some, oh, man, we had some, we had some players on that team. It was just, you know, I got there, I think I got traded like July 27th, Tula Whiskey, Tula Whiskey and I from, uh, from Colorado. And, you know, just was able to just immediately just gel with the team. And they were playing well. And their general manager time, Alex Anthropolis, thought they needed a little, you know, they little, a little bit more. And he went out and got two Troys for the price of one. <laughs> and that Royal Series was a very interesting series. And, you know, the Jays were very close to, you know, potentially winning that series, maybe winning the World Series. Did, what do you, what do you, when you look back at that series, what, what, do, you, what do you think about it? Do you think it was a, and in, I guess the season, do you, do you feel it was a missed opportunity? That, that was a World Series caliber team? It was definitely a missed opportunity, but you know what? I, I was at the end. I couldn't get anybody out in the playoffs. It was just one of those things where, I don't think we had enough in our bullpen. I think our starters and our and our um, position players, the hitters, were on point. But I didn't think we had enough in our bullpen at that time to take that next level. And we all know what Kansas City had in their bullpen. That's when they had the the four-headed monster coming out there, and those guys were they were the nasty boys. And 20 years in the show, I'm assuming you sort of most identify with the Minnesota Twins. Is that fair to say, or is, is, is it, do you feel you feel attached to all your teams? Uh, I don't feel attached to all of them, but I do have a, a special place in my heart for Minnesota's number one, Colorado, Milwaukee, Houston, and Toronto. And Toronto because at a great time those three months that I was there, and it was the last, it was the last, it was the last rodeo for me. And you played with a lot of legends. Is it even possible for you to say who, who the best player you played with, or is it just too, is it too hard? I think probably the best player I ever played with that I just all around could do everything was Mike Trout. I played with Trout in 2012 doing his rookie year and it was it was pretty impressive. And I think now I appreciate it more because he's been able to continue to get better every year and stay at a high level. That's the most impressive thing. A new uh, phenomenon in Shohei Otani. What, can you can you even fathom that from, from your time playing of someone pitching in here? Yeah, it's just over here they won't let us do it. And not just myself, because I probably wasn't a great hitter, but I'm sure we have some guys that could hit. But the thing is, here, you have to pick and choose. You're going to hit or you're going to pitch. And if you can't hit, then they make you a pitcher. So it's, it's like what he's doing is awesome. But do I think we could have had somebody before him, you know, do that? Sure. Do, do you think potentially teams will look at it differently now? Or, no, or is it just because uh, of the – I doubt it. I doubt if they look at it differently. I really do, because I don't know if you can – I just don't think it will happen. It's too hard to go through the minor league system trying to worry about, you know, hitting, playing a position, and pitching. It's just, just too much. All right, Troy, I'll get you out of here on this one. I need your pick for the greatest baseball movie of all time. I'll, do you consider Field of Dreams a baseball movie? I do. So I had to pick Field of Dreams. Uh, August the 3rd, my, uh, me and my nephews and my daughter, I rented the field with a couple of my business, business partners. So we're going to play a game have it videotaped and all that stuff. And we got uniforms. So I'll be at Field of Dreams August the 3rd. And so I'm going to have to go with that movie. All right. Yep. Sure, really